it, it gives me great pleasure to invite all of you to the SLMA's 125th anniversary International Medical Congress from 2nd to 6th July 2012 at the BMICH in Colombo. We begin the conference, uh, we begin the Congress with a community day on the 1st of July where we take the message of healthy living to uh, the community by in, a, in the form of a SLMA run and a walk. Already hundreds of doctors as well as others have registered for the run and walk and I invite all others who have not done so so far to uh, call us up at the SLMA office and join up to run and walk for better uh, healthy life. The conference itself begins on the 2nd of July with a grand uh, inaugural ceremony at the BMICH followed by the SLMA oration. All SLMA members are invited and if you would like to go, uh, get an invitation please contact the SLMA office. The 3rd of July is a very interesting day. For the first time ever in the history of medicine in Sri Lanka, all the presidents of colleges and associations, ranging from physicians to surgeons to obstetrician and gynecologists to pediatricians, as well as the other subspecialties, all of them come together to celebrate the achievements of the health sector in Sri Lanka and to put forward their vision for the future. It's a unique day with over 30 presentations by every major uh, professional medical college and association in Sri Lanka and the SLMA as the apex medical association of all the uh, doctors in Sri Lanka is proud that we have been able to bring together the entire medical profession under one roof on one day. We hope that all of you will be able to participate on that day. The 4th of July is the research day. There is a lot of interest locally now with research and reward for research being built in to the salary structures of doctors. It's a day to generate ideas, to find out what you really want to do, what research one should be doing by understanding what the national strategy for science, technology and innovation is. It's also a day where the young researchers can find out about funding sources and get the ideas about how they can go about publishing research. 76 of the top research papers are being presented as oral papers and 169 other posters are also being presented. So if you are a researcher who is in looking for ideas, who is looking at the future, uh, who is looking at a long-term research career, the 4th of July is the day to be at the Congress, the day when you learn everything about research. The 5th of July is the continuing Medical Education Day and we are looking at uh, that as an uh, important day because of several reasons. Firstly, we have collaborated with many colleges and associations to bring about a diverse program catering to the CME needs of every practicing doctor. We are also mindful of teaching the doctors or creating awareness among doctors as well as others on how the workplace could be made more healthier. So our entire stream is devoted to creating a healthy workplace. Another important event or an activity on that day uh, are the uh, two orations the S. Uh, the S. Ramachandra oration, the inaugural S. Ramachandran oration 
and the um, and the NDW Lionel oration. So it's a full day of stimulating continuing medical education, which I'm sure every doctor would enjoy. The last day of the conference, the 6th of uh, July, is the day when we look at the future, the Advocacy Day. There are four symposia addressing four very important topics. Firstly, a symposium devoted to reproductive health, where tricky issues such as abortion, uh, gender-based violence and sexual medicine are being discussed. The second is a workshop or symposium on e-health challenges. At a time when Sri Lanka is looking forward to developing the health sector by incorporating information and communication technology uh, into its uh, health, uh, health delivery programs, uh, this is going to be a very important symposium. The, uh, the third symposium is on looking at beyond the Millennium Development Goals to improve our health statistics. To do that, we, are, we have brought together a galaxy of, um, um, of uh, resource people to talk about the prevention of birth defects, prevention, surveillance and, um, um, and control of birth defects. And it is going to be an important uh, uh, symposium where strategy for improving our health indicators is going to be discussed. Finally, laboratory accreditation uh, has been a topic that we all want to uh, deal with because of the uh, various issues related to the quality of reports coming from laboratories. We are planning a symposium or symposium has been arranged which is on laboratory accreditation and it would be useful for everyone who is interested about bringing about uh, or improving the quality of laboratory services. So I hope uh, then that uh, all of you would uh, be interested and would want to take part in the SLMA Congress 2012. Now in addition to this academic program, we also have uh, this academic and scientific program, we also have a very interesting uh, social program. The cultural event which will follow the inauguration, I'm sure will uh, enthrill all of you. The doctor's concert on in the evening of the 3rd of July is a place where many doctors are going to display their talents and already uh, practicing uh, doctors are practicing uh, to take part in the doctor's concert and we hope that that would be a very interesting uh, enjoyable evening for everybody the SLMA banquet is the grand finale it's going to be on the 6th of July at Water's Edge and we look forward to all uh, doctors participating in the uh, banquet where we all sit down for a nice meal, enjoy a few uh, speeches including an after dinner, after -dinner talk and, um, and rejoice the, um, the, the successful conclusion of the uh, Congress. I hope that I will be able to welcome all of you, not only to the Congress, the academic activities and the scientific activities, but also to the social program. So let us all um, resolve to meet at the BMICH on, uh, in, the in the first week of July.